terminating and repeating decimals. So there's two focuses today uh, that I like to make. One is to write fractions as decimals, and the other one will be to write the decimals as fractions. And within that context, we will uh, discuss terminating and repeating decimals. So write fractions as decimals. So a key statement here behind this is that we want to use the fractions denominator to write an equivalent decimal. And what I mean by that is developing or discovering what the power of 10 should be. So use, so use the functions, the fractions denominator to write an equivalent decimal by finding a power of 10. So some examples. Start with one that's easy. Let's review from last year. Let's say we have 74 over 100. Well, this basically is telling me that there's 74 one hundredths. And so we can write that as a decimal and make sure that it lands in the hundredths place, which it does. All right? This is already a power of 10, 10, 100, 1,000, so forth and so on. Another example. Say we have 7 over 20. Well, in this case, we need a power of 10. I could divide by 2 to get to 10, but if I divide 2 into 7, it will not give me an even number to work with. So that means I'm going to have to make 20 go up to the next power of 10, which would be 100, which means I could multiply by 5. 7 times 5 is 35, and 20 times 5 is 100. And so therefore, we have 35 hundredths, and that matches what I have here. Another example, so another example would be 5 and... Five ninths. So if I take a look at this one, all this really is is a mixed number, which I can separate into its whole number and then its fraction. And identify that the whole number goes before the decimal place. So we just need to figure out how to make that a decimal. Well, again, I might need to um, find a power of 10, but 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, so that's not going to work. It also doesn't work to go into 100 or a thousand, but if I'm really not sure, I can just do some old school long division. So five divided by nine. Nine does not go into five, so I include my decimal, add it, and add a zero. Not a placeholder of zero. Nine times nine goes into 50 uh, five times. That gives me 45. I can subtract, and I get five. Whoa! When I see a number here that matches the number that's up here, then I automatically know that that's going to be a repeating decimal. And therefore, I have to put a bar notation over top. You can experiment and keep going if you'd like, just to prove that this is going to show 0 0.5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, forever. Finally, so we have to add that in here. Finally, we are going to write decimals as fractions. So an example would be 0 0.15. Uh, so that's showing me 15 out of the hundredths place, so I put it over 100. Another example is 8 over uh, well, let's do point zero 0.08, right? Don't make the mistake of saying uh, that this is equal to 8 over 10. Just because I only see one digit doesn't mean it goes over 10. The 8 is in the hundredths place, and so it's going to be 8 over 100. So it's a misconception to make sure we don't fulfill. And then finally, don't forget... To simplify. 
using your GCF. Thus, I can divide by 5 as my greatest common factor for this one, divide by 4 for this one, and I get 3 20ths and 2 25ths.